OK, Google. Open Sesame. OK, let's get auto voice. As you command. Those of us lucky enough to have Google Assistant on our phones get to take advantage of a whole host of voice commands and cool features. We can search the web, start navigation, open apps, change settings, send texts, all without lifting a finger. But whilst Google Assistant is admittedly awesome, there are still some things it can't do. And there are those people who don't have Google Assistant at all. So in this video, I'm gonna look at some ways you can add more voice commands to your device so we can turn it into freaking Jarvis. There are actually a ton of really cool apps and settings you can tweak in order to get more voice functionality on any device. And it's a lot easier to set up than you might think. In fact, I'm gonna show you how you can get all sorts of cool stuff working in just 10 minutes. Okay, Google, begin a 10 minute timer. No, you can have seven. In just seven minutes. Okay, so the first and easiest way to add more functionality to Google Assistant is just to add shortcuts. And this is very easy to do, all you need to do is to open up Google Assistant, head into the settings, and then scroll down to where it says shortcuts. And here you can add more voice commands and then tell Google what you want it to do when you add them. So you can't add new functionality to Google this way, but you can just shorten the commands you use to access that functionality. And this is also a cool way to hack Google Assistant into saying some cool stuff, because you can always use the repeat after me phrase in order to get it to respond to different commands however you want. This is a good way to prank friends, etc. That's pretty basic though. If we wanna to get to Jarvis levels of cool, then we're gonna to have to use two new apps. One is Tasker, which you may be familiar with, and the other is Auto Voice. These are both paid apps, but you'll only pay once and there's no recurring fee. Annoyingly, in order to access the full features of Auto Voice, you'll need to unlock it via a separate app store called Auto Apps. But once again, it's just a single payment and it is fairly simple to do if you like this kind of thing. So basically Tasker is an automation tool and this lets you set up a whole range of different events which act like triggers and then tasks which the phone carries out in response to those events. This means we can control all kinds of different features of our device that we don't normally have access to through Google Assistant and we can set up Google Assistant as the trigger by using auto voice. Once those are installed, head on over to Tasker. So click plus on the profiles tab and then choose event and plugin. So in Task you have profiles, and profiles are events that trigger tasks. So the event is your input, your trigger, and this can be anything. It can be your device connecting to a home network. It could be it reaching a certain time, or in this case, we're listening for a third party app by using a plugin. And that plugin, of course, is gonna be Auto Voice. Now choose Recognized, meaning that we're listing out for when Auto Voice recognizes a command, and then click the pencil icon to edit the screen that comes up. This will open up Auto Voice, and there you're gonna choose commands and enter the words you want to act as your triggers. You can put in several and separate those each with a comma. So what's some kind of functionality we can add to Google that it doesn't already have? Well, what about some kind of captain's log? This could be something that lets us take a voice memo and it'll be a great opportunity for us to look at how to get quite a complex sequence of events working from a single voice command. So for our command, let's say captain's log. And for our response, let's say listening. Click the tick in the top right once you're done, and then click the back arrow on the event edit screen of Tasker. A little pop-up will ask you to create a new task, so go ahead, choose that and give it a name. Let's call it Captain's Log. So remember in Tasker, a task is the output. This is what you want your voice command to trigger. And you can choose all sorts of different things, and better yet, you can stack multiple tasks so that you carry out a long sequence of different processes from a single voice command. We're gonna choose media for our task and then record audio. You need to give your file a name, I've called mine log, and then choose the maximum size and the format. Click back. So now we have our first task in captain's log, but we want to add a few more because we want to be able to stop the audio after a few seconds. So first add another task and call it wait, and you'll find that in the task category, and then wait then set that to 10 seconds. That's long enough for a little voice memo. Then we're gonna add another task from the media category and that will be, of course, record audio stop. So now it's starting to listen, it's waiting for 10 seconds, and then it's automatically stopping. Finally, we're gonna add one more media task and that's gonna be music play. And here you're gonna put the file name that you set in the record task 
and the location, and that way we can hear our memo being played back to us to make sure that it's worked and it's captured all the information we want. So OK Google, ask Auto Voice Captain's Log. Sure, let's get Auto Voice. Listening. Record this message for me and play it back. Okay, so as we can see, it's actually recorded the end of the message from Google Assistant. So to improve this, we might add a wait at the start of the tasks, and we might also want to put in like a little beep to tell us it's time to talk. But otherwise, that's working pretty well. At the moment, in order to access the features we've added via Tasker, we need to ask Google to ask Tasker, and that's kind of cumbersome. It's a bit like Chinese whispers. But luckily, we already know how to create shortcuts on Google Assistant. And there are a ton of different plugins you can get for Tasker, which can give it more functionality and which we can access using Auto Voice. One of the coolest ones is Wake On LAN, and I talked about this last time. Wake On LAN allows you to wake your computer from a sleeping state, and that means we can say something like Open Sesame and use that to boot up the computer. Another cool one is Join, and Join synchronizes your PC with your Android device. That has a Tasker plugin as well, and that means that we can tell Google to open a web page on our PC. OK, Google. Open Android Authority. OK, let's get Auto Voice. Opening. And whilst it's not a Tasker plugin, Google Assistant also works with IFTTT, which will allow you to do all sorts of things like send messages on social media or turn on your hue lights or set the Nest thermostat to a certain temperature. But that's something you see quite often. There are tons of tutorials out there on that. And I did say we were going to look at some ways you could add more voice functionality to your device without needing Google Assistant. Well, as it happens, this is very easy. All you need to do is to go into your settings and set Auto Voice as your default assistant. This way, holding down the home button will bring up Auto Voice and you can use any of the commands that we've set up or any more that you want to create without having to go through Google Assistant. If you want to get really advanced, you can actually make your own apps for Google Assistant. These are called Actions on Google. And to get started, you can either check out the article I've written on androidauthority.com or just open up the Actions on Google console and in there you'll see the option to make a new app. There's a ton of different options, but the simplest ways don't require any coding. Basically, all you're doing is linking to a spreadsheet on Google Drive and that spreadsheet will have a host of different questions and the answers you want to give for them. Using this method, you can make quizzes, personality tests and flashcards for remembering things. OK, here's the test version of Android Quiz. Which company owns Android, Apple, Microsoft, or Google? Google? You might be wrong someday, but not this time. So thanks a ton for watching, guys. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below and let me know what voice commands you're adding to your device and what methods you're using to do it. I'm well aware that there are lots of different ways to do this, so I'd love to know what tricks you guys know that I missed. If you'd like to see more like this, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for notifications, and of course, check out androidauthority.com for we are your source for all things Android. Thanks for playing. Come back again soon.